What's up team, it is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this vlog, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what I talked about in the last vlog, and going on to answer uh, a question that we got from a subscriber. In the last vlog, I talked about, instead of learning to code, learning to solve problems. Now, my thing, when I started out, and for me personally, when I started out, I knew that I wanted to build websites, of course, and that led me to HTML, and that led me to CSS, and that led me to JavaScript, and then JavaScript led me to all these other stuff. What I, what I see is, for beginning to Developers. Like they don't know anything about anything. They come in and they're like, I want to learn to build applications. Somebody's like, hey, you can learn to build iOS apps or you can learn to build Android apps or you can learn to build desktop app. But maybe they just need to build a web app because you can build just about anything on the web. Well, okay, all right, I want to learn to build a web app. How do I build something like Facebook or like Instagram or like YouTube or like whatever exists out there already. They go out and they find tutorials and the tutorials like, hey, you should learn Vue or hey, you should learn Node or hey, you should learn, name, name the framework and library that you went out to learn and you realize that you didn't need to know all of that stuff. Maybe even after you learn that framework or library or whatever, you realize that you have no understanding of how HTML, CSS, and JavaScript really work. There's some people who think they know how it works, but they don't really know how all of this stuff works. They don't even understand that the DOM exists. Take this element here and you can make it disappear and make it reappear down here. There's people that don't understand that. They know how to do it inside of Angular or they know how to do it inside of React or they know how to use jQuery, but they don't know how to do it on their own because they don't understand the basics. Now on to the question that I received. So in this question, it says, how does how does this tie in with the coding courses you sell and the 365 coding challenge that you talked about Re regarding frameworks at seven minutes? Your own websites are built or all built using Teachable, which is a high level app builder framework. Have you any examples of apps you've created yourself without a framework that are available to use or download? It's a good question. Here's the answer. All right, team. So. I talked about solving these big problems and using our knowledge to, I, I talked about breaking these big problems down into little problems and then using our knowledge to solve each little problem. And when we do that, we cr create this piece of code that solves all of these problems. Now, in retrospect and thinking about it, this code may not be pretty. It, it, may, be, it may be what some people call spaghetti code. But to be honest, for the most part, that doesn't really matter because you are trying to solve a problem and if the code that you've written solve this problem then it's good like is it's, it the code works that's what we care about then after the code works we can come back and we can make it look pretty we can make it look nice and all this stuff or we can do that while we're writing it for beginners that's impossible to do because they don't even know what good code looks like they don't understand any of this stuff at the very beginning they just need to understand the basic fundamentals and then how to build stuff and then how all of these things talk to each other and now they have like this sort of base of reference and they can begin to ask like these larger questions should I use an object or a function should I group all this stuff in in, in this in this piece of code here or should I group all this stuff there and so you can build on top of that stuff now as far as the courses I sell I don't sell any courses if you go to my website codemarketsell.com or code365startuplab.com or therealcasadero.com the courses that you see they aren't really courses right they're little tutorials and they aren't they, they aren't big and complicated it's just the basic stuff right like how do you use PowerShell how do you build a simple web application where you can type something in the field and it updates the page while you're typing? How do you, and there's some other stuff there. And my goal is to bring more free courses. These courses for people that, that, that have come across me and they like me and they like my style, they like what I'm talking about, they like my energy, I motivate them or inspire them somehow. And now they're like, I don't know this thing and he knows this thing. I want to see what he knows about it. And now you can go and you can take this little tutorial. Where is me, the person you like, talking about this thing that you want to learn? So that's the that's the purpose of the courses. But again, they aren't for sale. There's other places you can go to find free courses. You can go to Free Code Camp and there's like a whole curriculum on Free Code Camp. The only thing that is for sale is access to the Coding 365 Startup Lab. The Coding 365 Startup Lab is me building an application online that other people can use. Not download, but they can use. Like So you'll be able to go in and you'll be able to use all the features and functionality. If you are a member of the Coding 365 Startup Lab, then you get to see how I'm building this entire thing. You get to see all the little applications that I built. I walk you through all of the code in tutorial form. So I'm teaching you how to build the thing that I'm building essentially. 
how to put it all together, how to put it online, how to market it, and how to get paying customers to it. You get to follow somebody through the very real process of conceiving, planning out, and building a real application that they plan to put online and market and sell as a product or service to people in the real world. And they're going through each piece of the code, each piece of functionality that they build, and they're walking you through the process and showing you why they are doing the things they are doing in explaining them and, and breaking them down and giving you an understanding of how all this this fits together so at the same time you can take the practices and the techniques and the tools and whatever and apply them to whatever it is you want to build it's not just me writing code just to teach someone the code that i'm writing i'm writing it with the vision and the intent of using it to power an entire business and i'm sharing with you the entire process every step of the way and teaching you how to do exactly what it is that i'm doing i've never done any of this stuff before i could just go out and i could just build the thing and then I can do a course as an afterthought or I can do it all at the same time. And I figured I would be able to benefit more people by showing them what I'm doing as I'm doing it, giving them the opportunity to learn and I also get to generate some, some income from it. And this is, again, for people who are interested in that thing, they can pay to be a part of the Code365 Startup Lab and be a part of this community of people that want to build stuff. Not necessarily people who want to go out and get jobs, but people who want to build their own solutions to their own problems or build solutions to other people people's problems and monetize those solutions. That's what the Code365 Startup Lab is all about. Now, Teachable, I use Teachable because it's super simple. It's a tool, it exists, you pay 30, 40 bucks a month, maybe $100 a month at the top tier, but somewhere between there, you pay this amount of money and you can host unlimited number of videos, right? So there's no bandwidth restriction, there's no nothing, right? You just pay your money and people can come and sign up, they can have an account, you can send them emails, everything is organized, like somebody has already done all of the work. Now let's say I'm a developer and I believe that my time is worth $75 an hour. That means that I would pay myself I would be paying myself $75 an hour to to build something like Teachable. And at the end, I could pro possibly go out and sell it as a product or a service or whatever. But I have no want or desire to build something like Teachable right now. So I pay for Teachable. Teachable costs like maybe a hundred bucks a month if you're at the high end. So I save myself hundreds of dollars by just using Teachable. But at the same time, I want to be good at JavaScript and HTML and CSS and building web applications. And I also want to build an application that generates income. So it makes more sense for me to pay for Teachable and then build this other thing on the back end. Now, if you're interested in code that I've written or examples of stuff, then you can go to my GitHub, the real cast, www.github.com forward slash the real Casadero, and there's stuff that I've written there. I don't consider any of that stuff to be significant in any sort of way, shape, or form. It is basically websites and little and little piddly applications that I've written to do different things. Click this button in the background changes or add these numbers together and stuff like that. But so there's more stuff coming to the GitHub, but if you want examples there, then that's fine. If you want free courses, you can head over to Code365StartupLab or CodeMarketSell.com, Code365StartupLab.com, and you can see the, the free stuff that I have there. And if you want to join the Code365StartupLab, by all means, I want you to. So that's, that's, the, that's the whole essence. I hope that answered the question. If not, just let me know. For everyone, leave comments in the section below. And if you like me, if you like my style, you like my charisma, you like my hat or whatever, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever a new video like this comes online. And this is what we talk about here. We talk about code, marketing and selling and i'm sharing with you my thoughts and experience and philosophy from a bunch of years in the military a few years working at one of the largest tech companies in the world as a as a system admin slash junior junior devops administrator and in 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 a, a few years in the sales industry and in the marketing industry so that is it team thank you for hanging out here i hope that was beneficial i will see you in the next vlog